Hello everyone. Just getting myself set up here. Um, Just getting set up, guys. One second. Um, I just wanted to say, um, I'm not sure that anyone's on yet, but uh, I did have a comment asking um, why I couldn't just pop up the photos of all of these layouts uh, instead of using my phone. And there's two reasons. <laughs> One of them is when I'm live, I don't know how to, I'm not tech savvy. I'm not tech savvy at all. So I don't even know, I don't know how to do that unless I'm doing a voiceover and using a program to do it. Second of all, um, I could do it not live. Like that's fine. I could. However, like for today, there's 98 layouts that I'm sharing, which means I would have to save all 98 layouts and then find where I've talked about them, put them up, and then it would take me forever to do that. Um, editing is a lot and some people just honestly don't know about that and so I just wanted to explain um, and I don't have that t that time to do that um, but I do have a little bit of time every day where I can come live and hang out with you guys and talk and share on my phone so if it's something that bugs you don't worry you don't have to watch this um, all of these layouts are available to see on the Facebook group and you can scroll through it all on your own time um, you don't have to, to do it with me. It's just something that we found that we enjoyed doing last series. So I was just bringing it back for this one. So I just wanted to mention that because it got brought up on a comment and I definitely didn't want you to think I was ignoring you. Um, I just can't unfortunately do that. So, all right, let me go ahead and get this all figured out. I'm just going to switch my quality so that it's easier for me to see because I am on a super old iPhone if you guys remember me talking about this with you and so um, your the highest quality um, probably doesn't show through very well it's probably pretty blurry um hi Deb you love that it's live thanks so much me too I I really enjoy this time with you guys every day so um, but I did definitely want to let you know why I don't do it because you know I get it I it can be hard I'm sure it's um I'm sure it can be dizzying seeing my phone go on and off and all of that. So I completely get it. I also don't hold it straight and all of that. So I understand. It's all good. Today we are going to be hanging out with day three, which was by Lisa Sigorski. And of course she is the creator and has her own Facebook group of Scrap a Sketch, which is a whole fun, awesome thing. So I'll be sure to leave her Facebook group below as well as her um, information. I forgot to add the description stuff already, so I will do that um, when it is done at the end of this live. Hi, Jessica. Um, and let's just get right into it. Like I said, we have 98 layouts to share, so we'll see. I still have both boys home. Um, my oldest has a sore throat now, so I don't know. Um, it's also very, the smoke from all of the fires have snagged their way here into the Fraser Valley and so it smells like a campfire outside and it's got that kind of weird haze going on but you know it's just one of those days. Uh, today's sketch two photo option with lots of strips of paper and a diagonal of embellishing which I think is so cool. Hi Millie! Uh, Italy! I love that. Thanks for letting me know where you're from. That's really neat. Um, and I just love this with the idea of two photos, lots of really awesome takes. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to see how many times I can say fun today, because I think I said it about a thousand yesterday. You'll find I repeat myself over and over again, especially as we get towards the end, because I run out of things to say. <laughs> so we're kicking it off with Mel. And this is, I almost said fun. <laughs> this is really cool. I like how she used stars instead of hearts and she just repeated her pattern papers. We have 
Rachel, she did a bingo with monochromatic stars, multiple photo circles, chipboard, and puffies. That's cool. Again, repeating of the same pattern papers. I like how her title in journaling is right underneath that first one there. And the stars are so subtle, but that's impactful because they are subtle. You, you do see them, which is cool. Brandy Cho, multiple photos from the bingo board. I think Brandy is doing one, um, one thing a day with the bingo board. So she's rotated it. So the strips are going in the opposite direction because her photos obviously are in the opposite direction from the sketch. This bright pink background though, border, I love that. This collection is, um, I have this collection. It's Fifth of Monaco, right? I'm pretty sure. It's really bright and bold. So this it's a great layout for vacation or whatever she's documenting. We have Cheryl. She used a pre-made title with a spring effect going on there. Again, the same pattern papers, just twice layered. She also has a bit of a cut file in there, which is neat. And definitely has a spring vibe to it. Eve did a two-pager. We are big fans of two-page spreads. Here is what that looks like. She's gone ahead and done the background pattern paper to be straight across, not touching. But then with the plaid, she's given it a break and a little bit of um, separation. Just gives it a bit of interest. I like that. Oh, all of my, I just posted on Instagram my layout for today. So unfortunately all my Instagram things are gonna pop up. I did not plan that very well. I'm so sorry. Hello everyone. Yes, I love this sketch too. It's, um, Lisa makes amazing sketches. And if this, this is your first time working with a sketch from Lisa, like I said, she has her own Facebook group. She even has a subscription. There's all sorts of things. So I'll leave her Facebook group in the description as soon as we're done. No, baby, it's not time to get Nora. It's only 10.30. We get Nora at 3. What about Jackson coming on? He will, yeah. Okay. You go sit with Jackson or you go watch a show, and then when I'm done, we'll hang out, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I lost who this was from. We got Holly going on here. The ad added additional strips. That's a cool take on it. And this big spot for her title. I'm a fan of this one. That's cool. Rotated as well, right? You got the up and down instead of um, horizontal. Got Deb. I just have to ask my kids to shut the door. Hold on one second. Um, Jackson, can you shut the door, bud? Jessica's saying, I might have to try to do a two page of the sketch that turned out right. Yes, right? Two pagers. You get so much inspiration when you see two pagers on these. The different colored greens is really cool on this with that cobblestone background. Uh, that's neat. Is that cobblestone? That's just, I don't know what you call that. It's neat though. I really like that. We have Monica. Eight and a half by 11 or a six by eight, depending on what size she's working on. It's hard for me to tell the difference of those two. I, this is cool. She's added a third strip of pattern paper just to kind of make it work with the height that us, those um, dimensions kind of give. We've got Lori. Beautiful soft layout there. Just following the sketch pretty closely. I, I like her, her visual triangle of embellishments. So that's really cute. Got Monique, she rotated it and used the hearts. This is, I think, the first layout we've seen with the hearts in there. I love those bright pattern papers too. They work so well with the bright colored clothing. I love that. I wanted to see what she says. Oh, and she has a video. Um, Monique, if you are watching this, all you have to do when it comes to um, sharing your video is you can either put it in the comment that you're writing or you just in the reply copy your video link and post it in there and we'll be able to see it because I'm not sure that I am following you and I really would love to follow you on YouTube if you have your link. Um, Tamara, Tamara, Tamarin, Tamarin. 
Oh, that's so cute. And it's Wizard of Oz. Um, not Wizard of Oz. Oh my gosh, Harry Potter. That's so cool. I love it. So I love the theme she's used. <laughs> and um, all those different pattern papers, right? You've got the male pattern paper and the stars. That's just really neat. What a fun way to announce um, a baby announcement, right? The sketch was great for scraps. Yes, I know I agree. It was such a great option for scraps that you can use those little bits that you're like, I don't know what to do with this. We have Tara who rotated it. There's a lot of this rotation to the vertical strips instead of horizontal. I'm not sure if it's just because those are the photos that were available to whoever scrapbooking, but I'm liking it. I did not do it that way. So I always love to see the differences that everyone does. And these roses are just stunning. Oh, I wonder how much bulk that puts in your layout. I'm fine with bulk. I don't mind it. Um, but obviously it would get scrunched as it goes into your album. So I'm curious how much bulk that gave you, Tara. Holly. Oh, sorry. It's rotated. That's cute. She's got a bunch of different strips there. She really made this layout with those pattern papers work for her. That's really cool. I like that one. I guess today's word of the day is cool instead of fun. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we've got Christine who did a kitty cat layout. Who doesn't love a good kitty cat layout? Those colors on that pattern paper is really fun. And that is cool. Okay. Are you going to give yourself a picnic? Um, Louise, again with the rotation. I got this up too. Okay, but mommy is talking, so you'll have to wait till I'm done, okay? Okay, thank you. Look at those puppies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We don't have dogs in our house. I, the idea of having to take care of a dog on top of three kids and a spouse just sounds exhausting. So do not have one. We have a cat, self-sufficient, but... Ugh, if we could. I love this. I love the monochromatic. It totally it's brings out their dog. eyes. It's named Dozer. Yes, and our cat's name is Dozer. Um, but yes, that's really fun. Ellen. Ooh, so Ellen's added extra photos. Digging this. Okay, this is the first time we saw the extra photos. And I believe this is probably a traveler's notebook because it's split. That's really cool. So there is a different take on how you could work with a sketch and put it into whatever format you're documenting. Oh, hold on, Bear just wants to see. Are they flowers? Mm -hmm. I'll just have a sip of water while he's. And I got hurt. And what? I got hurt. You got hurt? Yeah. Okay, I would like you to please go play for a couple mm -hmm. minutes and let me finish. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Moving on. We have Kim who went. Oh, Barrett, my son is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> we have Barrett. Or we have Barrett. Oh my goodness. Look at I've already messed up. We have Kim. Four photos. I love this layering of the three at the bottom though. That's a really cool, uh, different take on it. And yes, please don't touch. The visual triangle with the um, cactus, cacti. I still don't know the right way to say that when it's multiple. I just, I like that a lot. Okay. If you guys can all excuse me for just a minute, we're going to try and get Barrett settled down for a minute. Um, and I will be right back and we will get some more of these shared. Uh... Okay, come on, please. Mama. Don't bear. I asked you to pretty please. Go be a good boy. You can go play in the restroom, you can go watch a show, but you need to stop, okay? Go get a snack. For the picnic? Sure, but you need to be quiet and behave, okay? Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see how long that lasts. April Lynn. April Lynn is um, an eight and a half by 11 scrapbooker, so all of her layouts are always formatted into this. And it's really cool, the addition of the stars the closest to the sketch that I've actually seen and yet it's different sized right cool cool is the word of the day <laughs> Dana love that documenting books look at that heart bookcase oh, 
That's so cool. I love it. I love it all. That's really neat. I'm assuming eight and a half by 11 as well. Well, quite a few of those we've seen already today. We've got Andra. Followed it really close. Used hexagons. I hope this is in frame. Sure. We have Jackie. Soft pattern papers there, which help the photos stand out. It's a pretty close follow of the sketch. Helen, love that rainbow paper. I'm not sure if she's documenting a rainbow or just a travel just somewhere. Emily, oh, those puzzle pieces are fun. What a great topic to document about puzzles. I like that one. We've got Emma, she rotated it and used florals. Sure, just bring it to me, please. This is the first time I think we've seen florals today. Lots of variety going on. Mommy. Excuse the noise for a minute. I'm just grabbing a, a juice box for my kid. Okay. Uh, and what butterfly paper. Oh, and a shaker. Look at that shaker pocket. That's really sweet. I love that. Those photos are adorable. We have Claire. Oh, the puppy. Love it. I love those soft pattern papers on that crisp white cardstock. It just really pops it all up. We have Kathy I'm using Thicky Booten pattern papers. I like the mix of the four different pattern papers. I also kind of went that route with mine. We have Susan again, doubling up on the same pattern papers, really just following the sketch closely, but using flowers instead. And it looks like they're hanging out with some horses there. Sarah. Beautiful layout again with the green. She's been on a green theme within the series, those first three layouts, and it's continued. Different um, documentation of, I think, but it's still really pretty. We have Jessica Michaels. She created this one for fall. Look at all those leaves, and then inside those leaves, do you see all those sequins? Really fun, playful, different take for a fall layout and the different pattern papers, multiple use. Adorable. Moira, this one's really cool. Documenting um, where she, with like a work layout from a long time ago. Carolyn rotated it and did Halloween and oh my gosh, those ghosts. Oh, I love the ghosts. <laughs> Oh, I love that. This one, this one's so cute. I look at this one like freaking out. Oh, I love them. That's a really fun layout. <laughs> Big fan of that one. We've got Cindy did a, so this is a cut file and it looks like she's done some mixed media as well. This is a completely different take on the sketch, right? Cause you've got no strips of pattern paper a cut file. She also has sequins in some of these, which is really cool. But she's layered her photos just like you can see in the sketch. So you see the influence of the sketch. She even has the idea of the horizontal lines because there's those lines sticking out from the, the cut file, but she doesn't have those four separate um, strips of paper. This is mine. I did... I use multiple pattern papers, I believe. I was just kind of doing a stacking effect and I added an extra photo, which I was pretty pleased with. We've got Terry's take. Aw, this is a great, great use for those pattern papers that are like scenic and you don't know how to use them. This is a fantastic way to do that with this sketch. Okay, if you haven't done this sketch and you have some of those papers, I highly recommend you give that a go because this is great. Thank you, Terry, for that inspiration. Karen's layout, so I can't, I can't share it because I click on it, it goes to Instagram. Um, 
but it's super cute. So make sure you head on over to Instagram and give it some love. Jennifer did a Thanksgiving layout. I love the theme. This is like the first Thanksgiving layout I think we've seen this whole series. Adorable. Great use of busy pattern paper. Jennifer, look at all those sequins. This is gorgeous. Sunflowers too. So using sunflower papers, being in a sunflower field. I'm a little jealous you were in a sunflower field. It's gorgeous. Sheila, just following it pretty closely. I love what, I'm not really sure. I don't know where this is. So I don't know if like the, the, the letters are the initials to the college that she's at or where she's at, but it's really neat. It's a great idea of using up some letters that you have. I'm assuming it's probably a college OSU. Yeah, it's campus. Yeah, it is. It's a college. Okay, I was right. <laughs> I got it. I understood it. <laughs> Here's Jennifer Crossdale. Great outdoor layout. Boy themed layout. I love this additional added um, acrylic piece for the journal, uh, the title. Sorry. This is fab. We've got Kim. Ouch. First of all, that looks painful. Uh, but I do love how she's actually got the photos side by side and then this little um, piece there. It's just a neat different kind of rotating the sketch a bit with the photos but not where the papers are. Joyce kind of flipped it with the photos but definitely following the sketch. Brianna rotated. That's cool. I love all the clouds in place of the hearts. Sandy, just one photo. I think this is the first one we've seen, just a one photo. That's a great inspiration. And look at those doilies to give off that nice vertical look going on. I like that one. Maggie's is just a close up. Sherry, butterflies. That's fabulous. With butterfly paper. I like it. Dana, I think we've already seen that one. Darla is a Halloween layout again with the shaker. That is the theme of today, you guys. Shakers. I love it. Multiple different pattern papers and a blue star background. And of course, it is also Harry Potter going on there. Here's Joy. Thank you for blocking out the photos you don't want to share online. So she just didn't add them. This is a great take. I love the bright pattern papers going on there. And the big, big title. Lisa, New Year's Eve, thank you for blocking your photos. Again, multiple different pattern papers. I like that effect. I think that's, it just brings us such a different take to it than the double. The double take is great for um, keeping it simplistic and the fact that your photos are so elevated like that. So that's a fabulous take as well. And, oh, Need to read the name first. Karen. I knew it was Karen. I saw the photo, but I wasn't working in my brain there. This is cool. I love that really cool green background there. I'm assuming this is, um, is it Vicki Booten? I honestly don't know, but that brightness makes me think it is, but I have no idea to be honest with you. I don't have that. This is probably a simple stories line. Lori. Ooh, look at all the different colors. Three pattern paper strips documenting a really cool view from vacation. We got Pamela. Oh, ooh, pink at the top, blue at the bottom. That's really fun. Okay, maybe scrap lift of the day, I think. I really like that. That's a great variation of using those strips and uh, beach photos. Pam, I love that. Here's Amanda's, just a one photo, but the second element where the photo would be is where she placed her title. That's really cool. Lynn, following it pretty closely. Beautiful, minimal embellishments with a Vicky Booten line. Ashley, I love the little banner at the top. Oh, it's so cute. That little photo is adorable. Okay, that's fun. I really like that. I love how she's made the strips 
like a diagonal so it's almost like another banner going on that's really fun here's Jennifer added four photos I love it when we change it up four is awesome um, we've got Ruth who did a heritage layout 1942 do we call that heritage I don't know Diana patriotic that's a great way to use that I love the um, music note pattern paper is that ribbon and she added ribbon in place of pattern paper okay that's cool that's a really neat take got Mallory she rotated it uh, got a driver's license going on there that's pretty cool Catherine doing some farm and um, fruit picking it looks like strawberry picking that's so cool great use of those strawberry pattern papers Trina this is a neat take that busy background paper and then she's got little tiny dual strips going on there but still I don't know about you but my eyes still go right to those photos so it's really well done and balanced I like that one and we've got the really fun extra title going on there but the rest of it's following the sketch really closely including an added banner Kathy a Chiefs fan I don't know about that Kathy but I love your layout and it's a great way to document it thank you for blurring out your photos Sochi ooh, Sochi went dark in her background paper with bright patterns that's cool I really I'm digging that and the extra photos they are nighttime photos so actually having that um, dark background with then those bright strips your eye still goes to the photos that's just genius We've got Nadine I love this middle section with the title there that is a great option if you maybe had three photos that could be in place of a photo if you wanted got little Lily who went monochromatic gorgeous that's so pretty really really like that gingers take I love the little girls to represent the sisters there Lori rotated it I like this branding strips if you wanted to go super skinny and tiny strips branding strips would be really cool which is what this is reminding me of I'm not sure if that's what those are but that is what it's reminding me of Ruby just following it pretty closely really fun playful sketch of her puppy Tammy kind of shrunk hers in a little bit which I like that effect too it gives you more um, of the softer background documenting her deck so you want to kind of see that background to give off that vibe Gloria oh st. Patrick's layout I love the green super monochromatic love the little clovers um, in place of the hearts Rebecca I love this addition of I'm not sure if that is a stencil with modeling paste or what but that is a great added feature and the stacking of photos all on one side really cool that's a neat take Kathy loving those stars are those puffy stars they look like they might be like puffy sea stars Sherry Ooh, I like Sherry's take two first of all you get extra photos in there we all like to get as many photos as we can I know but I like how it's kind of condensed and then it's stacked differently with the flowers going in the diagonal that's a very fun take Sherry I like that here's Sue which is just gorgeous and stunning those pattern papers absolutely help make those photos of those flowers um, I'm not gonna say that because I'm not gonna pronounce it right but they're it's gorgeous <clears throat> we've got Kathy monochromatic pattern papers really help those photos stand out though again having almost your your photos match your background with the bright colors underneath it it brings your eye to the photos of all things not the pattern paper so that's just a really smart idea we've got oh I forgot to read the name again 
Mona. Simplistic layout. This is so pretty. I wish I had the ability to be this simplistic because I can't. I've tried. It doesn't work well with me, but it's so pretty. I really love this and I wish I had that ability. Laura. Ooh. I don't know if that was her mixed media, if that's a pre-mixed media background, but I love the idea of the mixed media and then one strip of pattern paper. Oh, there's so many really awesome ideas on this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. I got Lisa's take doing some, I love the large photos too. And here there is that background paper, which is probably a scenic paper. She's layered other papers on top of it. It's just such a smart idea. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. And those photos are just stunning. Holly really following the sketch closely, including the hearts, which is adorable. Pauline, look at all those photos, five photos on here. Five. That's great. I, oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Great take. Karen, an eight and a half by 11. Here's another I um, look with that mixed media. Oops, sorry. Mixed media and then pattern paper there. It's really clever. Jamie, monochromatic, hearts. Oh, and it's a baby. Oh, it's so cute. This is a great layout. I adore this. Loving all the green. I'm so sorry. I'm not yawning because I'm bored. It just, I don't even know where that came from. We have Sarah. Oh, I always forget to do this, you guys. When you have pattern papers and a white card sucking, you really want them to pop up. Um, if you just back it on some black pattern paper, it really helps everything stand out and look crisp and clean. And then you can use a black alpha if you want for your title, just like you can see. I never think to do that. And I, every time I see it, I'm always like, this is fantastic. So just a good reminder. Thanks, Sarah. That's gorgeous. Patricia. I love it. Oh, look at those little rainbows. Puppies. There's been a few puppy layouts. Melody. Really pretty. Again, we got the kind of different tone on tones going on. So pink at the top, blue at the bottom. She does have the same background paper though. And then four photos. Beth's take. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I wonder what that's for. He's dressed as George Washington and I'm not sure what it's for, but that's adorable. I love it. Love the pattern papers. That is a really um, old boy line if I'm not mistaken, but fantastic. Jessica rotated, added palm leaves. Uh, what collection was that? I loved this collection. I had just little bits of it, but I loved it. And um, two photos, but then spaces for a title and journaling. So it's almost like it could be four. Virginia. That's really pretty. Just following the sketch pretty closely there. Tracy. Two, four, six photos on here. Oh my goodness, I'm not exactly sure what she's documenting. I'm not gonna read too much into it, but that is a great way to use all those photos and then the strips of paper. Kristen, ooh, Kristen kind of did the same idea, but instead of black paper, she used different cardstocks. That's a great way to use up your cardstock. I don't have much, but if I did, thanks, thanks Kristen for that idea. That's fabulous. And there's mixed media in the background. We haven't seen a ton of mixed media in this one, but I see it there. Rochelle, oh, she turned them into banners. It's the first time we've seen that. I love it. I love a good banner. That's gorgeous. Sarah, Sarah Scraps is playing a bit around, is playing a little bit for this round as well. So here is her take. Um, I love the different patterns. This is a very classic Sarah Scraps layout. Really pretty with the one photo. Fatima, we've got, I love it. She rotated it. Look at those, the dog looking at the cows. Those photos are fabulous. <laughs> Jenny, thank you for covering up your photos. School, school theme, that background paper really helps drive home the fact that it is a school layout. 
Jojo. Oh, Spider-Man. I've got a Spider-Man fan in my house. I actually have two of them, so he would love this. Wherever you got that pattern paper, I'm jealous. That's really fabulous. And she's done a ton of mixed media in the background. I'm not sure if that's stamping or what that is, but it is fantastic. I love it. Kaylin, Kaylin, sorry. Um, perfect baby. I like how our photos are almost stacked on top of each other, but just a little bit of difference. Kathy, all oh, those flowers, different strips of pattern paper, and then actually layering the photos on top of each other. I don't think we've seen that yet. Tina, bold, but it's about pizza, so it can be bold. That's fab. I love that little, those circles of pizza as well. That's cool. Kristen, monochromatic, um, documenting travel or building or home I guess it's home maybe it's apartment condos or something but really pretty Harriet oh prom this is such a great option for prom uh, you got an extra photo in there really soft papers with a gorgeous floral in the background oh that's it we did it we made it that was 98 layouts you guys I had fun with this one I found um, today's sketch actually might have had the most variety in what A was documented, but like it was followed closely. However, there were all these little night different variations. I just, I was, I was a big fan of today's. It was fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for spending some time with me. Um, I will be tomorrow. Um, my car is going in for just a routine routine maintenance and oil change in the morning so I probably won't be on here until almost like lunchtime my time which is like 12 p.m pacific standard time uh so expect it to be a little bit later than normal I've been trying to shoot for about 10 o'clock every day I find that's a good time for my kid uh but also for me so that's kind of been my plan but it's not gonna happen tomorrow if I can't get on um we're just gonna have to skip tomorrow and I'll be back on Friday for sure. But just wanted to let you know in case you're like, where is she? That's where I'll be. Um, I will see you guys all again soon and I will update the description um, in just a minute so you guys can have the links in case you're wanting to join Lisa's Facebook group because you don't know about it yet. I'll make sure to get that linked. All right, see you all again soon. Bye everyone.